parallel lines the lines which are coplanar and do not intersect each other are called parallel lines here line l and m line l and line m are parallel with this symbol is for parallel to show parallel now these two lines are not parallel because they intersect each other at a point o now when two lines intersect each other four angles are formed a b c and d four angles where angle a and angle c are opposite angle they are congruent or equal similarly angle d a is a congruent to angle b these are opposite angles pairs of opposite angles and opposite angles are congruent they are equal or congruent here are two lines l and m are two lines and n is here transversal due to this transversal eight angles are formed a b c d e f g and h line n is a transversal of line l and line m due to this transversal eight angles are formed a b c d e f g and h out of these angles there are some pairs of corresponding angles pairs of alternate interior angles pairs of alternate exterior angles and pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal and pairs of opposite angles here line n is a transversal of a line l and m uh, due to this transversal there are eight angles are formed some are corresponding angles pairs of corresponding angles some are pairs of alternate interior angles pairs of alternate exterior angles pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversals and some are opposite angles pairs of opposite angles now pairs of corresponding angles angle a and e angle d and h angle b and angle f angle c and angle g these are pairs of corresponding angle angle a and angle e angle a and angle e angle b and angle f angle d and angle h angle c and angle g there are four pairs of corresponding angles pairs of alternate interior angles now angle d and f this is a pair of alternate interior angles similarly angle c and e this is a alternate interior angles angle a and g and angle b and h these are pairs of alternate exterior angles pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal angle d and angle e and angle c and angle f these are two pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal line n is the transversal of the line l and m where line l and m are parallel lines due to this transversal eight angles are formed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and some of them are corresponding angles some are alternate interior angles and some are exterior alternate angles and some are pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal and some are pairs of opposite angles here two lines are parallel and n is transversal so eight angles are formed therefore pairs of corresponding angles are congruent angle 2 is equal to angle 6 angle 3 and angle 7 these are pairs of corresponding angles and congruent angle 1 and angle 5 congruent angle 4 is equal to angle 8 now pairs of alternate interior angles angle 3 and angle 5 these two are a pair of interior angle alternate interior angle and this is also congruent similarly angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate angle interior and alternate angle and congruent pairs of alternate exterior angle angle 2 and angle 8 these two angles are congruent similarly angle 1 and angle 7 are congruent
pairs of alternate exterior angle angle 2 congruent to angle 8 and angle 1 is congruent to angle 7 then pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal angle 3 plus angle 6 equal to 180 and angle 4 plus angle 5 equal to 180 angle 2 and angle 4 opposite angles and they are congruent angle 1 and angle 3 opposite angles congruent angle 6 and angle 8 opposite angles they are congruent angle 7 and angle 5 uh, are opposite angles and these are also congruent or equal line L and line M are parallel and N is the transversal of these two lines due to this transversal there are eight angles are formed one two three four five six seven eight now corresponding angles are congruent similarly alternate angles are also congruent and addition of interior angles of same same side of the transversal is equal to 180 degree and pairs of opposite angles are also congruent now corresponding angles are two and four three and seven one and five 4 and 8 these are corresponding angles pairs of corresponding angles angle 2 and angle 6 angle 3 is equal to angle 7 similarly angle 1 is equal to angle 5 angle 4 is equal to angle 8 now pairs of alternate interior angles angle 3 and angle 5 these are alternate angle and interior angles 4 and 6 are also alternate interior angles and these are congruent now pairs of alternate exterior angles angle 2 and angle 8 and angle 1 and angle 7 these are exterior alternate angles they are congruent now pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal angle 4 and 5 angle 3 and 6 now addition of 4 and 5 is equal to 180 similarly addition of 3 plus 6 equal to 180 now opposite angles opposite angles angle 2 and angle 4 these are opposite angles and they are congruent angle 1 and 3 is also opposite angles they are congruent angle 6 and 8 equal similarly angle 7 and 8 are also equal congruent